So, uh, tempo comes very much from the notation. So when you see a 3-2 in Bach, it can never be a fast piece. Impossible. Totally impossible. I have seen people play pieces with a 3-1 time signature. Play very fast. It's the slowest possible tempo there is. Um, the difference between a 4-2 and a 4-4 is a difference in character, particularly. So, a 2-4, uh, yes, a 2-4 in Bach is a light, particularly light, and slightly faster tempo than a 4-4. So, you first look at the time signature and you know approximately the tempo of the piece. All additional words are refinements of that tempo. So, vivace means lightly, charming, things like that. <coughs> In fact, there is one, uh, one small or one or important uh, uh, difference uh, uh, with one of those words, and that's the word adagio, which gets in the 18th century a very special name. When you see adagio in Bach piece, it means that you have to apply the beat not anymore to the quarter note, but to the eighth note. And you see one other thing is, and that is that the number of harmonies in the bar gets twice as much. So there are not four harmonies, but there are eight harmonies in the bar. So the harmonic tempo goes down. The more harmonies you have, the slower you have to play, otherwise your brain cannot digest that. It's all about digestion of information in the brain. When you go to fast people, they will hear something, but they have no idea what it is. Um, this is still the case in the 19th century. And maybe just to add uh, this uh, little talk about temporary uh, is giving you an example of a 19th century piece. It's a sonata for organ by Joseph Reimer. Uh, the piece is written probably somewhere in the 1860s or 1870s, I guess. And this piece has three different movements. Um, first movement, I think, is Carato, if I remember one, let me find it. Just a second. Your principal goal 
must always be the expression of the sentiment and not quick play. With skill, a musical machine could be constructed that would play certain pieces with a quickness and exactitude so remarkable that no human being could equal it either with his fingers or with his tongue. Indeed, it would excite astonishment, but it would never move him. And having heard it several times and understood its construction, you would even cease to be astonished. Accordingly, those who wish to maintain their superiority over the machine and wish to touch people must play each piece with its proper form. But they must always avoid immoderate haste. If the piece is not too loose or its agreeableness, Well, and you find several things uh, in Karafir and Bach. In fact, what they often say is, uh, when you play too fast, and I hate fast play, you can understand. <laughs> it astonishes you, but it does not move you. And that is a rather big mistake. I think. So, well, not too bad. Sorry for you.